Hello, this is Matt Oker. Uh, today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step build of this light sensor. It's highly simplified so that if you're having trouble with light sensors, you can try this to do this. Uh, the simplification is, is a rather inadvertent result of the, of the main improvement of this design, which is controlling light levels better because relays and redstone torches both have light levels that make it make these less light sensors if light uh, dark sensitive I should say if you're don't build them carefully so in creative mode I like to build these one level up for filming so you can see them better but you don't have to build them one level up it just is easier to see so you start by three by three dirt in the center here you place a block this is the important block this is what is the light that the grass is growing and dying on uh, to detect the light if you don't understand how that works i can link you videos on that so if you're not working in creative mode uh, which i don't i just film here uh, then you and you can't build out of grass blocks then you need to build the structure just like this and wait for all the grass to grow to put get dirt next to it connect it with some grown grass and wait for it to grow before you continue uh, <clears throat> it's got to be grown otherwise it's not going to work so put a sticky piston right next to that block detector block that's going to be the basis of our bud switch and make sure it's facing the same way put a regular piston behind the water on the second level there so i'm going to continue turning the sticky piston into a t flip-flop bud switch based on althorn's design so if you're having trouble uh, definitely think you should check out his video with that or this build it might be very very helpful this is his design so put a redstone torch there right below the, that block and block next to it with redstone dust on top of it then put a block there and face a relay away from the piston pistons there facing away. Very important, max out the time the notch for so that you don't end up with blinking. If you end up with blinking pulsing light sensors, that's often the cause right there. Okay, this corner block here is the one you need to power for the T flip-flop bud switch. So there it is. There's your T flip-flop bud switch next to this structure here. The only thing now it would be to connect it to this piston so the growth and dying can occur. Now it is very important where you place the power for this because we've had problems placing it other places. It kind of sort of works sometimes in other places, but this is the best placement right there. Put a block right behind the piston and the redstone torch right below that block, powering it um, seems to work the best. Okay, so we have the T flip-flop bud switch connected to the piston here. Pay attention to its daytime. The grass is grown. Both pistons are retracted. That's how it should be. If uh, I've often ended up when I'm building these things that these pistons are out of sync. Um, so the best way to reset that usually is to 
remove and replace that block. Usually, I, I've had it line them back up every time. Check out Al, Al Thorne's video on butt switches if you're having other kinds of um, priming problems. The uh, next and final step is to cover up all your light sources. So put a block right there to block the relay here. Cover in case this torch, this torch lets off light, shockingly enough. And in case this torch in dirt. Now if we were to remove this water and stand on that block, the block light level would be zero, which is what you want. So that as dusk happens and the light level stops dropping, it drops at the very first opportunity that the light level gets low enough, this will start to die long before it gets, not long, but significantly before it gets pitch black. Thank you very much. Thanks to Althorn for his design, and we always like to give credit to Ethos Lab for his awesome videos. They got us started on this. We wouldn't have been able to refine his designs if he hadn't have made them.